Welcome to Faith and Fitness with Angela. I'm so glad you joined me for our workout today. This is going to be Cycle Fitness, and our scripture today is, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of Him. 1 John 5, 14 and 15. So you're going to be reading, and I'm going to be reading today, 1 John 5. But the scriptures today that we're reading are verses 14 and 15. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of Him. Especially when you ask according to His will. That's a huge, that's, a, that's kind of like one of those things. We've got to um, ask according to His will. And if you are... Um, spending time in the Word and spend, you know, um, developing your relationship with the Lord, you're definitely going to be asking what He wants from you anyway, or wants for you anyway. And He has great things for you. Most people have no idea how He wants to bless you because He is totally crazy about you. So let's get ready to get going. And um, we are going to warm up. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of these type of videos, please share these with other people. Help the channel grow. Like, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring, especially here. So let's go ahead and get started. Anyway, I have Pilates Challenge Senior Tune-Up. This is a workout anyone can do. Pilates Challenge is just that. It's a Pilates mat-based workout using sometimes tools of just using your own body. And then a strength training, which is kind of like I have a Tabata workout called Hit, but I'm going to call it Sets and Reps because truly that's what it is. So I'd love for you to join me for any and all. Good warming up. I will put my hair back. And... All right. So warm it up. So what we want is make sure that when you're sitting on your seat, that your seat is generally, it's going to be back. It's rarely ever going to be forward. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that your leg is full, can fully extend. So when the crank is straight up, straight down, you are able to lock your leg. But when you're pedaling, you have a nice soft bend at the knee. That's how you know the seat height is right. If your seat is too low, you're gonna hurt your knees. You will hurt your knees. It's called knee replacement later, or I don't like to ride because it always hurts my knees. No, it's because your bike isn't set up correctly. So. So warming up those legs, I just did a video, um, so I'm, a, I'm already warm. I did a senior tune-up. Again, that, that whole workout was standing, but it could be done from a chair. Almost everything that we did could have been done from a seat. Good. How about adding a little resistance on for song anyway? So you're going to... You want to feel just a little bit of pressure in the legs like you're working a little bit. We're elevating the heart rate. We're bringing it up and preparing it for work. So your warm up is really, really important. Remember to try to stay relaxed out of the upper body. Easier said than done. Even for me, I mean, I find myself doing everything I tell you not to do because my body does exactly what yours does. <laughs> Just the way we are, right? <sighs> I know it was a nice day out yesterday. I got to ride outside. And that always feels good. We have a bike trail nearby. 
Um, and we, we will ride. I will ride if I have friends, but I never ride that by myself just because we have a lot of a lot of people that just hang out there or homeless that live there. And just it's safer always if you have people with you. That way, if anything ever happens, you have someone to help you or to call for help, you know? So let's add a little resistance. This one tells you that we are going to be working. So the songs and what we do today will keep you pretty much in the cardio zone, the whole workout. The cardio zone is generally 120 beats per minute. I do like faster for sprinting and so on. And we can take any of these songs and make it that. Add a little bit on. Just by adding more intensity, um, even through resistance, that elevates your heart rate. So it'll give you a better workout. Basic cardio, if you're doing something light, you should be able to carry on a conversation. But when you start working, it should be uncomfortable to have a conversation with someone. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. like a wind in your face type of climb or or you could be going up a hill you choose this feels like wind which I do not like riding in the wind but it does make you stronger I do like hills okay let's bring it up Add a little more resistance. Make sure that you have good resistance on because if you came out of your seat and you don't have enough resistance, the pedals are gonna be too loose and you can hurt your knee. And that's not good. So make sure that you have good resistance. Just stand and climb. So here our hips are back toward our seat. about add a little more on. Try to keep it coming. Mm -hmm. 
and make sure that you're drinking the whole class too. So a lot of times you want to start prehydrated. So drink even before you go to class or take a class or share this class. your pace just a tiny bit or add more resistance and try to pick up your pace a little bit more work just a little harder work. Take it back to your seat, back it off just a touch. Good. This is Leviathan by Ghost Girls. All right, we still have good resistance on, so you should feel that you are working because you are. Bring it up. Bum, bum. I guess it's not all the way seated. Back to our seat. Bring it up. Bring it back. Pick it up. Hold it here. Add a little more resistance. All right, bring it back. Bring it up. Have a seat. It's more like eight counts. Bring it up. Back to your seat. Bring it up. Have a seat. Bring it up. Take it back. Nice work. Back it off a bit. All right. Pick up your pace. Back it off just a tiny bit more. Now, if that feels too light, it almost feels like that because I've been heavy since we started. That almost felt too light. Pick it up. Just a little bit of a sprint here. Add a 
a little resistance on. Push, push, push. Push again. You can hear that build. Add it on, push. Nice work. Good. One, two, one, two. Have a little on. A little more on, seated climb, heavy, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's what you should feel in your legs. Is a lot of pressure. Push, push. Open the door, except that I would have kitties coming in. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more on push. Push, push, push. Ah. more ah uh, push a little harder nice work try to make it to the end we're almost there. Nice work. Good, you can back it off a bit. Nice work. That one will be a good cool down, so we will. We're gonna do fast and furious here. All right, so you have a lighter resistance. Pick up your pace. This one promises to be fast. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.
shoot by Midnight Daydream. That's old Roxy. This is Flex by Ghost Beasts. Add a little on. A little heavier. Okay, push. One, two, one, two. Okay, you should have felt a little, when we added that on, I want it to be a definite, oh yeah, I felt that. You're pushing against more resistance. Need to add some more on. Add. Right there. Add it on. Whew. Push. 
gonna feel a lot harder because it's supposed to. Uh, how about add a little more on? Take it to the end of the song. That's when you can flush your legs out a little bit. just a bit. Take it to the end. Ah. This is called Flex by Ghost Beats. Nice work. Back it off a touch. This is Road to You by Paula. P-A-L-A. work. Add a little more on. We're almost there, so this is almost, I think it might even be our last song and then we'll start to pull down, so try to finish this one strong. Take it. 
to the end with a heavy resistance because we have made it. And this is called Road to You by Paula. Nice work. All right, just keep pedaling. We'll start our cool down right here. Shoulder blades back and down. Shake out the hands. Make circles with the wrist. And reverse those. Good. We, we've done a lot of this, so we need to do this. So press your hand down. Other side. tricep. Ooh. Switch sides. Good hands behind us. Open the chest. This feels good if you can tip forward, but don't tip forward on your bike. Not the safest to wait till you're on the on the floor or on your mat. Bring it up, three and nine. Lower your heels. Good. So this was a 30 minute cycle class. And well done if you made it, if you used all that intensity. Same thing with resistance. Just pushing through when your body tells you, I'm done, or I don't want to do this anymore. Whatever, when you push through, that's where you get your gain. The spirit is willing many times, but the flesh is weak. Don't we know it? Yeah. Some days are better than others, but sometimes the body just rebels. Okay, let's drop it down. Keep the heels low. those feet, three and nine o'clock. Keep the heels dipped and just relax it down. Just kind of let the calf muscles and hamstrings, everything just stretch. When I completed the last video, there was just enough time to do if I stayed within 30 minutes or 33 minutes but there's no guarantee of that and I didn't want the video to be cut off. So let's pull one heel up toward the hip. Good, if you want to feel it more intensely, bring the knee to knee and then tuck your tailbone under. You may not need to tuck the tailbone under, that definitely intensifies it. If you can't bring your knee, knee to knee, Definitely don't tilt your pelvis down. All right, let's do the other side. Ah, Heel to hip, knee to knee if you can. This is a good working song. They say I'm young, they say I'm dumb, but what they don't know It's where I've been and who I am, all the ways I've grown Blood in the sweat, tears and regret It's called Cake Pop. The other one was on top by Grace McCoy. This one is Cake Pop by Lunera. Ooh. Really tight. You could see with my foot, a lot of it is off my, the top of my knee. Ah. Uh, when you know you're very tight. your time.
climbing and stretching, this is for you. So if you want to stay longer in a stretch, and I'm moving out of it, stay in it longer. You don't have to, oh my goodness, this is so, everything is so sore and tight. Um, you don't have to get out of the stretch. This is your part. This is a gift you give yourself. I need to roll my muscles out. Oh my goodness. Let's go one, you can go even, just step in, in like put your toe up on the front of your bike and then lean in, that'll stretch the calf again. So. You can't see my foot, but it, it is in. Uh, That is really, really tight. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Ooh. All right, and it looks like I'm doing nothing, but I am really stretching this other, this, my right calf. I have my toe up on the front of the bike. And I'm leaning in, which intensifies that stretch a lot. Okay, now you can go right here, or you can go onto your seat, and then you're gonna go ooh down toward the leg. Let's go down sideways toward the leg so we'll stretch the inner thigh. Bring the arm up and just lower down. All right, I'm gonna turn the music down just a touch. Anyway, our scripture today is 1 John 5, verses 15 through, I think it's 15 and 16. And it's if we ask anything, you know, um, of the Father, I want to say, according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that we, we, he heard us, we know that we have what we asked. But God can't answer a prayer that you didn't pray. So God just likes to hear from his kids. And the more you pray, the more he speaks to you. And the more you read his word, the more he, he speaks to you through his word. Sometimes he speaks to you through other people by just, and it's always a confirmation of something that he's already been giving you a nudge about. But a lot of people feel like they don't hear from the Lord, but the Lord does speak to you through his word. Every time you read it, if you ask, just say, Lord, speak to me. And one scripture will pop out to you and it will be meaningful to you. And maybe you read that same scripture 20 other times before but it just didn't stand out to you. Then you read it that day and all of a sudden, whoa. So God does speak. And he says, if you, if you seek me and seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you. So I think right now we really need to be able to hear the Lord's voice. It's a still quiet voice. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's like you hear in your spirit. Um, rarely, if ever, is it ever an audible voice where you just hear him. But it's usually him speaking in your in your thoughts. Or just in your spirit. I, I, I call it in your spirit. You just it's just a knowing. Or sometimes I'll be praying in tongues and the Lord will give me interpretation when I am speaking. 
And because when we spare, pray in tongues, it's the Holy Spirit praying for us because we don't always know what to pray, but the Holy Spirit does. And he's, he's, you know, he prays to the Lord for what we really need because we might be praying for this, but God knows or the Holy Spirit knows we need this first before that. And this whole last year and a half has been a total faith walk for me, um, looking for work and uh, it's just been a crazy year, that's all I can say. And uh, I'm not through the woods by any means, but I do see God's hand all over it, so. All right. All right, this is called We've Got It by Lindo. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause that and tell you. I'll read that scripture one more time and just say thank you so much for joining me for Faith and Fitness with Angela for the cycling challenge. Hopefully you did feel challenged. I know I got a great workout. And this again is 1 John 5, 14 and 15. So it wasn't 15 and 16, it was 14 and 15. Okay, I had a funny feeling that I had it wrong, but I wasn't sure. Okay, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have. What do we have asked of him? Praying a lot, praying his will. And what is his will? It's usually other-centered or God-centered. It's always selfless and rather than selfish. So most selfless things will totally be in, in his will and anything that lines up with scripture and in obedience to the word of God. Those are the prayers that God answers and the salvation of our friends and family and neighbors and so on. God hears those prayers. So we do need to pray for the people around us, our children, our family members, friends, neighbors, coworkers, schoolmates, whatever. Pray for people. We don't want anyone to be lost and we don't have a lot of time. I don't think, I always felt like the Lord was gonna come back in my day and that was back in, you know, like 30 years ago. You know, that was in, when I was in high school. Now, it's just like it is evident he is coming very, very soon. So please live ready, 365 days of the year. Live ready to meet your maker. In other words, let your oil lamp be full. Be one of the five wise virgins that had oil in, her, in their lamps and had oil to spare. You know, in other words, we need to, and we get that by reading the word and spending time with the Lord. So anyway, God bless you, and if you like the video and you want more of them, give them a thumbs up. Leave, it, leave in the comment what you liked or what you want to see, and share the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Make it grow. And I just want to say thank you, and God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.